Hey everyone, I have this code is actually showing some statistics to the admin user for this site. Currently this code is actually using 113 query over 37 thousand model hydration to process this code it takes 78 megabyte of space and almost 12 seconds now what i improved from this piece of code to achieve the same result everything by six queries 46 model hydration two megabyte and within one and a half second it's a huge improvement right if you are interested to know more how do i write this buggy code to the performance code Hey, my name is Tawhid Islam. Previously, I showed you how can I improve N plus one issue. Today, I will show you how to optimize the memory uses and the processing time with the different type of code. Let's jump into it. I have this code. Actually, it's an admin section where admin is able to view the statistics of a, a application that how many total messages has been sent, uh, messages to admin users, how many messages sent, uh, considering as a potential user, and how many messages are considering flat after that it's showing the conversation between every users for example these two users what is the conversation how many total messages ex has been exchanged between them and what was the last date for this conversation uh, for sending message and what was the last message pretty interesting and if i go down here it's it's coming from 1000 conversation and it's showing only 50 based on pagination. But look at that stats. It's actually 113 over queries, 37,000 over model hydration, total 78 megabyte memory uses for processing this query. It's a total taking almost 12 seconds for this processing. It is not really a performant code. So let's see what we can improve from here. If we go into the code editor, let's open the route. I can see that this is the method actually rendering our pages. Here, if we inspect the code, look at here, the messages is actually getting all the messages with some eager loading, then grouping by the conversation and showing based on pagination. And then counting how many messages sent to the admin user, and then joining with DV, with message, with conversation, putting, uh, putting some uh, condition on it, and then getting and count hmm this is a memory issue so it's actually dumping everything on the memory first and then counting which might not necessary okay look at that potential user messages is actually joining these two tables and then putting some condition on it selecting something again memory issue flag messages joining these two tables it seems these two queries are actually same and here total messages is actually using another query, putting everything on the memory and count. So I can see these three actually, I can combine into one query because it's all coming from the message, except this one where it's actually joining with the conversation because it's putting a where condition on the conversational table. So what I can do in the last episode, I show you how can you use case when put condition then, right? So let's use this one. Actually, I created a, another route is called refactor, this dedicated method, and it's actually not doing anything, just rendering a blade file. So let's open this one first. It's actually loading a simple blade view with some HTML syntax, no query, no model, one megabyte and 34 milliseconds for processing. Cool. First of all, as I mentioned that, we can combine these three queries together. All of them are coming from the message. So first, what I need to do, I need to join with these two tables, uh, join these two tables for the flag messages, right? So let's join it first. I join these two tables, right? And then what I need to do, let's come with this one first, total messages. How can I do that? I can use a select, right? So I will use db raw. I need to count how many messages. It's because there's no condition, right? So what I will do, I just put id on it and then say as total messages. This is the first condition, which means I'm good to go with this. Second one, here I'm trying to count the flagged messages. I'm putting condition on message is flagged, right? This is our key. Again, I will say case when is flagged is actually one. Then consider is a true, otherwise 
zero and I end my query. With this condition, I need to count how many records I get it from my database query. So I just put it sum. Whatever I'm getting from here, I just put as flagged messages. We're good to go. We covered this one, potential messages. I need to consider how many potential messages. I need to put a condition, is potential user on the conversation? Let's go there. I will do exact same. I just use instead of is flagged, is potential. Now, is potential is where? Is that on the message table? I think it's on conversation table. Look at this, is potential is on the conversation table. I need to prepend is is potential basically on conversation table and then let's change it. Now we need to use the first to run this query. We are good to go. So we need to pass this data to the view. I need to go to the refactor and use these variables. So let's say. Now with any luck, if everything goes smoothly, we should get some good results. Look at that. We are getting total flag message, total potential messages and total messages. Now, if we try to compare side by side, whether we get the right information or not, it's identical, right? So which means we are achieving these three things by one query. Look at that. Currently query number is one, one model and two megabyte and over one second. Let's check for the next stage, what else we can do for admin users. If I go into current implementation, what is doing here for admin users messages is actually coming from the user, joining with messages and conversation, and then putting some sort of condition on conversation, all right? Some condition, select and group by. Let's see what we can do here. We might not able to do it here. So I would love to create a, another uh, query for this. Let's call it message to admin accounts. Okay, what is actually doing is trying to get some combination from conversation and messages, right? So I would love to call it conversation model. Then what I'm actually pr uh, expecting conversation should have a, a relationship with message. If I check into the conversation model, it has two relationship with the same table from the conversation user one, user two, right? So which means I can utilize the wire has. Let's try to do it wire has user one. And then I want to put a logic or condition on it, right? User one. Secondly, I will duplicate this exact same thing. We are good to go. I need to count how many total messages to admin. Now I need to print it out into the refactor blade. If everything goes smoothly, I should get mess message two. Huh, undefined variable user one. Hmm. I made some mistake. Let's see where did I do mistake? Ah, it should be two. That's my fault. Yeah, we are getting some result. Let's double confirm that we are getting the same result. Yeah, 756, 756, perfect. Now we are good to go with statistics Four statistics. We are getting with two queries and it's around one seconds, right? Now let's jump into this section. How can we improve? It's coming from here messages. Let's copy this one. What exactly trying to achieve It's trying to get messages with these, these, these and grouping by hmm. since it's a grouping by, I would do it's a little bit opposite way. Maybe conversations. I would put it conversation and I will try to get it from conversation model. They are trying to get, use user one, user two. All right. I will use user one and then, and then page in it. I would go step by step instead of dumping everything together. Right. I just commented out. I, I need this one for reference in future that now I need to pass this one to view in the blade. I need to render it over. If I refresh, at least I should see some sort of record. And definitely this is not what I'm expecting. We need real data, right? If I look into their implementation, what exactly they are doing, all messages in the loop, all right? They need the conversation and then user one full name. We are in the conversation, so we can do, just copy this one, what we can do, user one, I just delete it because we are on conversation already. 
Okay, let's try for the second one. Next, we need to count how many messages for these two users. Hmm. I think we might have a relationship between conversation and messages. Let's go to the conversation. If I go there and there's no relationship. So a conversation could have multiple messages, right? That's good to go. Now I have a con from conversation. I can able to see all the messages, right? So what I can do, I will prefer to put it with count. Now this count, instead of counting here like this, we just conversation messages. I think it's called count, right? Okay. Now I'm getting some counting with them. Perfect. Now what next? I need to show the last message date and what is the last message? Let's see how they implement this one. Hmm. Wow. They write some query on the blade. Hmm. I can think a little bit different way. Let's say I prefer to use subquery. How can I do this subquery? Add select and then I need to count actually what is happening here. For example, I want to set the last message date. Now in the subquery, I try to get the last message date for this particular conversation. How can I do that? I need to go to the message model. Okay, and select what I need to select. Actually, I need to select a specific column that actually tell me the date of the last message. It's called created at. I need to confirm this conversation ID and the message conversation ID are actually same. How can I do this? I can do wire. You can use wire column, right? Column. This wire column basically compares with two tables column. All right. And finally, with this condition, I need to get the latest record, latest and I would say take. So by the way, in the subquery, you always need to take only one record. If it is multiple record, the subquery won't work. All right. Now, how can I actually able to access this one? This is our access name exactly like the table column. So if I go to the refactor and I want to show the message date, if everything goes smoothly, if I refresh, I should see at least something. Hmm. Um, let's see. Ah, okay. I think it's a typo. Okay. I should see something. All right. I can see the date now. Perfect. With the six queries, 46 model hydration and everything seems good. Now the one, one problem I realized that this is a string. We need to convert it to carbon in order to get the exact formatted date like this way. There are two ways to achieve this one. One, we can actually convert it can carbon by carbon on the blade like this. It's really not a good approach. I really don't like it. Alternative approach on fly. We can change this string to the date. How can we do this? If we go to the conversation table and if we apply the cast here, it doesn't work because this column is not available in the database. So how can we do this in the Laravel? There is an option. You can do it with cast. Now, if everything goes smoothly, I should able to format this one as a carbon. For example, I can easily do it. Copy it here. Let's try to refresh. If everything goes smoothly, I should get the exact same result. Formatable. Perfect. Now, what else? This is the last message, right? How can I do this? I think this is one extra column that's unnecessary for us. We can apply the same subquery to get the last message. Let's try. That's it. Now I can copy this one. Last message. We are good to go. With any luck, if I refresh, I should get the last message here. Perfect. It's quite long. If you want to truncate it, you can use a Laravel helper method. I think I want to put it less than 50. I should get the exact same result. Perfect. Now, one thing is missing that is pagination. If I refresh 1000 results, 15 record and with the latest date, whatever. 50 record are showing here with all the pagination data. Now look at that. If I compare side by side, we are getting exact same results. We are getting exact same amount of data with huge improvement. Now, if you want to improve more, we can do it better using uh, the indexing on the database side, 
definitely we can do it but to make this video short and simple i want to stop here if you like this video i request you to subscribe my channel and share this video to the social networking platform so that your friend and co-workers have a chance to look into it hopefully you enjoyed this video see you bye